Oh Would you my look out? God. Yeah. This is where you and Popcorn Sutton made his last run. I never thought we'd be up here thinking about making a run of liquor. In Haywood County, North Carolina, JB is leading Mark and Digger to the site where their friend and mentor, Popcorn Sutton, made his infamous last run. Tennessee's home to us. If we're going to run liquor, I'd rather run it in my back door. But right now, that's not an option because the police are back out in full force. They are on their A game right now. Exactly. 20 years. Been yeah. 20 years right yeah. now, come July. Yeah, this is July. It'll be 20 yeah. years. Jay, but he, this is sacred ground. You damn right, yeah. If there's a holy grail of moonshine, it's right here. Wow. This is where the rage of moonshine began. This is where Popcorn Sutton did his video, The Last Run. What little liquor comes off of this, right people pay you $100 a gallon for it. Popcorn, he was the outlaw moonshiner. I'm just doing this so people could see how rough an old moonshiner's life was. He kept telling me, wish we could do a video the way my granddaddy and daddy done it. He said, we're going to keep the moonshine tradition going. This is the last damn run of liquor I'm going to ever make. I guess them revenue officers will be glad of that because they won't have to watch me no damn more. He done it out in the open too much. That's the reason he got caught, because he got too bold. And if I hadn't quit when I did, I'd have went to the pen. Cold chills running over my arm. Yeah. That's why it's just... You, you yeah. done run it. His spirit's here. Oh, yeah, so something will go wrong. <laughs> That's exactly what was going through my mind. Look at oh. the old furnace. Yeah, we cooked on this pot of beans and fried potato. Fried potato. Boys, we ain't going to disturb none of this stuff. No. no, hell no. That'd be like jumping on the Statue of Liberty and cutting her ear off. Well, that's a fine stream. Yeah, that's good water. Is this fur enough back from the law? I think that ought to do it. If this ain't fur enough out of the dead gym way, <laughs> we deserve to be caught. Caught you damn <laughs> With the fact that law enforcement's on our trail, we need to exercise all caution. And right now, we're just going to hang out over here in North Carolina a while. I tell you what, Raider. Yeah? See, now you drug us in here. This first run, it's going to be yours. Uh, you yeah. tell us how yeah. you want it. We'll do whatever you dictate. Okay. You got anything in mind you want to do? Well, popcorn always said something about making some pure corn, no sugar in it, but they never did do it. JB tells us that, that popcorn always promised him that they would do an all grain corn run, uh, no sugar. I want the pure corn because he always said that it was so damn good, but didn't produce much. But Don't make a lot of it. No, it gets you about a half a run yeah, what sugar would. Yeah, pure corn. About 103 proof. JB's 103. Yeah. Well, that almost right. Yeah, I'm yeah. good with that. I like that. You, can't you get a little more of a rounder figure? Well, <laughs> hell. Now, why he came up with 103, I do not know, but uh, 103 it is. Hell, it's your liquor. We'll do it 112 and a half if that's what you want. <laughs> we'll have to make it in two barrels yeah. to get one barrel. We can't put no solids in it. No. All grain liquor. When you're talking about making a one barrel still 50 gallon, you got to use a tremendous amount of corn. But the thing about it is, it's a whole lot better liquor. And, you know, JB wants it. That's what we're going to do. They ain't going to make a terrible oh, amount no, of liquor, no, no sugar, but we want it to be the best. That's the damn right. There was two reasons popcorn picked this spot. Look right here, baby man. We may be in business. Number one, it was isolated. Number two, got some of the finest water in the world we're running 10 feet away from. This would be a pretty good place to run a hose in a creek up there and run it right over to it. You got water? Yeah, we got water. Oh, it's cold, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, it's cold. There's one more thing I got to do here before we get started. I've got something here that Popcorn gave me before he died. It's an irreplaceable piece of history people forgot about oh, years ago, yeah. and it showed back up. I will be damned. Look at our boys. Popcorn gave that to me. I asked him for it. Six months or eight months later, he showed up at the house. He said, I brought you that damn sign you was wanting. He was notorious for building signs and making signs. Oh, he signs. loved making signs. He couldn't right. spell for It ain't worth two cents, but I wouldn't trade it for a damn Rembrandt. Well, it's time to quit being reminiscent and get to work. Yeah. All right, let's get after it. 
fire. Oh yeah, yeah, it's lit good. So you're gonna get that water kind of rolling a little bit so before we add that corn. Oh yeah. Corn, corn. The recipe that JB wants is all corn and no sugar. Coarse ground white corn meal. When you do all grains, you have to use quadruple the amount of grain in order to generate enough starch and natural sugars to produce any volume at all. When you're making traditional mash, you add sugar, and that's to boost your yield. Yeah. The corn is in there just enough to give it a corn flavor and a corn nose. We want to put the steel exactly where Popcorn had his. Let's see how it'll sit right there. Yeah. Well, then that'll be real, real close, JB. You darn right. It means a lot to be back here. It's fond memories. It's changed a lot since 20 years ago. Popcorn, say he's looking down, thinking, what the hell them boys are doing? Finish up what you're gonna finish up. I'm gonna build us a little fire so we can have some coals to cook on here directly. All righty, sounds say, like it will. I'll work on putting some mash in the pot. This is just a small run, so we're gonna do it the same way that the old man did it back in the day. We're just gonna bucket it from the mash barrel to the steel. It's gonna be a lot different run, but we wanna do it as close as we possibly could to the original. Seeing this liquor run, you know, this it's this is wonderful. We want to get it here, ain't we, old buddy? Yeah. We're up here in a place that, that started the rage of moonshine with popcorn and JB. I couldn't ask for anything better to be sitting in this spot right now and liquor running out of that worm. Oh. It's your liquor, JB. You get the first home. All righty. Boy, it oh. smells good, Digger. Oh, God. Well, there ain't no doubt. Damn, you ain't never had a whooping for holding your breath, have you? Glad I'm driving you out of here. Here we go. Think? Nailed it. You like it? Damn right, I like it. Ain't By it? By God. You know, 100% corn liquor, nothing even compares. I mean, it's it's the best of the best. I'm glad I got to do this with you, Raider. I am too. This steel site, this is hollow ground. I've seen popcorns presence around here. I miss him. I could see him over there doing that pump keg walk. <laughs> and here we go. And <laughs> a lot of things are special about today. None more important than the fact that we get to be here with JB. We've made three and a half gallons. Yeah, but yeah. We get it all tempered up. We'll have four. We'll find run on nothing but grain though. You damn right. Out of a little old pot like yeah. that. <laughs> Hell yeah. This liquor right here, I'll temper it to 103 and I'll put it in his hands. It's his liquor. Oh. JB, thank you, my brother. Yeah. Raider, yeah. I love you, brother. Yeah. You know, moreover, this wasn't about making a big run to have a lot of quantity. We were about quality and paying homage to popcorn and honor to JB. Good and clear, too. Some powerful stuff right there. Yeah, that's powerful stuff. I'm proud of what we made today, and I think popcorn would have been proud of it.